Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Stephen Roman from Heart Gold. How are you? Very well, Tracy. Now you just announced your, your gold pour, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yes, uh, we actually have now shipped uh, three shipments out of our uh, Sugar Zone mine site, uh, so the company is now a producer. We had a, a grand opening on the 24th of October that was attended by the Premier of the province, Doug Ford, and the Mines Minister, Greg Rickford. Uh, we had about 300 people on site. Uh, it was a very uh, excellent day, let's put it that way, to, to open this new facility. It's, a, it's I guess, Ontario's newest high-grade gold mine probably in the last 10 plus years. This is a significant accomplishment. For those of you out there with all of your cannabis dough, can you tell them why they should look at Heart Gold, Stephen? I think the cannabis uh, group needs to take some profits and put it into the next rising sector, which will be uh, gold and uh, uranium and other commodities. They've been depressed for a while, and now I think uh, they're starting to move. So. We, as a new producer, a new high-grade producer here in the province of Ontario, uh, have a lot of upside. Um, the last uh, company that was in our area that was taken over by a, a significantly larger company uh, had a similar size operation to us. They went out for almost a billion dollars Canadian. Our market cap's 250 million right now. So, you know, if we start to move up into that level, it'll be a significant rise for anybody getting in at this point. Earlier this year, Stephen, you also announced tripling your resource. Is that correct? That's correct. So that uh, was the last NI43-101 we put out. Uh, that was for drilling done in 2017. So we went from about a half a million ounces to 1.5 million ounces. Uh, so a very large increase. And so what we're doing now, the, of course, we kept, kept drilling and we've been drilling through 2018 and we'll have another resource update in the first quarter. So we expect, again, another increase in our resource. For all of you Investor Intel members following the Australia gold buzz and you're looking for a gold story here in Canada, can I have you back up and try and give us an overview of the Sugar Zone project and what just introduce us to it, please, Steve. Okay, the Sugar Zone uh, was discovered about the time of the Hemlo deposit in uh, the early 80s. And really, it, it languished there. It was viewed as a small, insignificant uh, deposit. Uh, when we took over managing the company in 2009, there was about 100,000 to 150,000 ounces. We subsequently did a drill program and built that up to a half a million ounces. The following drill program brought it up to a million and a half ounces. It's a, it's a project that's got a lot of legs. It's open on strike, down dip, and it just requires the work and the drilling to prove up a larger resource. So Hart is a new producer. Can you talk to us a little bit about your timeline for commercial production? We are in, uh, in production now and we expect to uh, achieve commercial production by the end of December. So what should we as shareholders anticipate this upcoming quarter besides this, obviously? Well, uh, I guess uh, in this quarter, uh, we'll have the announcement of entering commercial production. Uh, next quarter, in the first quarter of 2019, we'll have a resource update. The following quarter, we're going to have a, a new mine plan and feasibility study, which will uh, move a lot of our resources to reserves. And in the meantime, we're producing gold and shipping gold uh, every couple of days from the site. So good cash flow. Our, one of our analysts wrote, this is going to be a big year for Heart Gold in the sugar zone. And since we have such an esteemed member of our resource sector here with us today, uh, can you make any comments on what you anticipate for the gold market in the next couple of months? Well, the next couple of months, that's a very short time frame, Tracy. But uh, overall, gold has built a good base here at the $1,200 level. So I think, uh, you know, most people view it as a, as a good time to get in. Whether it's going to take six months, 12 months for it to move higher, it's hard to say. But, uh, you know, as far as we're concerned at Heart Gold, since we're a high-grade mine and a low-cost producer, 
uh, we're operating in the bottom quartile of costs. So our cost to produce an ounce of gold is about $600. Uh, gold is trading at twelve hundred and fifty or so dollars U.S. So we have a very large margin, and I think that's what people really need to look at: is what is the margin that companies are making on their production? Well, you heard it here: high gold grade, low cost production, and you're about to announce your uh, commercial production numbers. Is that correct that's this right. quarter? That's right. Thank you for joining us today, Stephen. It was a pleasure to see you again. Tracy, always good to see you.